Hi, Michael. Hi. Um, thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Um, the ending of the original show uh, made sense in many ways, uh, but left most of the viewers wanting more, um, which isn't un uncommon when it comes to popular shows at all. But uh, actually coming back with another season almost a decade later isn't as common. <laughs> so <laughs> with which parts of this new continued story made you feel like the new Blood spin-off was the right thing for you to do? Well, you know, as I'm sure you can imagine, the possibility of <clears throat> returning to the show was there, sort of floating uh, from the day we ended the series proper. I never really felt like the timing was right or the story that was proposed was worth telling but I maintained a desire to do something that, that honored not just the audiences, but my own sense of dissatisfaction um, that accompanied the, the way the series ended. <clears throat> I mean, in a way, the dissatisfaction <laughs> of that ending is, is the cloud for which this return is hopefully the silver lining. You know, I mean, we wouldn't have had the opportunity we had if we'd ended in a more satisfying way, you know? Yeah. Um, but because a good amount of time had passed, the residue of having done the show had gone away, I'd done all kinds of different things um, as an actor in my life, and also enough time had passed for the fictional character for storytelling opportunities to be there that hadn't been up to that point. Most notably, Harrison gr having grown into a young um, adult or, or a man, a, a boy on the cusp of becoming a man for, for that version of that character to reemerge in Dexter's life after all this time was, you know, one of the linchpins in terms of telling a compelling story. And it was only for having waited that it exists, existed. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could have flashed forward, but we didn't have to. We could act as if all this time, you know, had passed and we were just turning the cameras back on. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> yeah, I, I hope you do realize what kind of pressure you're probably put, putting on the Game of Thrones guys now, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so prior to, to the first season of Dexter, you've described that uh, how you dabbled some with uh, some light actual stalking uh, to, mm -hmm. to get in the right headspace of the character before immersing yourself into him. Um, what did you do to get into that space this time around? Well, <clears throat> having played the character for eight seasons and everything I did leading up to playing the character all served as preparation for this, you know? So <clears throat> I think my preparation was more about the time I spent breaking, you know, along with our, our writers and, and, and producers at Showtime, breaking the, the body of the season and the scripts, you know, we were able to prepare the whole thing before we started shooting and we shot it as if it were like a 10 hour movie rather than one episode at a time. And so as I considered that story, I think, you know, a part of that process was considering the character and considering who he was now um, and, and how he was different or how he aspired to be different. Um, but ultimately, uh, you know, this was, this was more a case of just trusting that he was still there, you know, and, and yeah. showing up on set and allowing uh, him to exist again, you know, and, yeah. and he was, he was still there. It was fun. Yeah. And, and having this being a, a limited series, um, obviously, mm -hmm. even if you would, um, I don't know how the uh, series ends this time, but if your character would die uh, this time around, uh, 
by bringing uh, Jennifer back uh, on set this time uh, after what happened to her in that uh, fi final uh, episode of, of the original show, I'm guessing you probably will keep having to answer the question if the show might actually return again for some time. Do you yeah. think you would be open to that happening, whatever uh, happens in, in this limited series? So you, you will um, have yeah. decades more of this. I'm going to take it one step at a time um, and, and, and let, this, let this see the light of the day before I you know, consider that question again. But, um, <laughs> but um, <clears throat> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Thank you for, for your time and good luck with the premiere. Thanks.